welcome back to the channel for another episode of Transfer Daily 5, where I give you the top 5 news stories going through the world of football, and in return, you give me your opinion, which is the most important thing in the comments. Today is pretty awesome. Expect some big news regarding a Barcelona departure, which looks imminent. An update on Lionel Messi. Chelsea completing transfer of main target and switching attention to another outfield player. Liverpool with reputable Christian Fogg clearing up everything that's going on with Thiago Alcantara. Before we get into all of that, let's start off with the miscellaneous news. This is all the news that is still quite important, but not big enough to make the top five. All covered in under a minute and a half. So here's a roundup. First up on the miscellaneous agenda is Thomas Lamar. According to Foot Mercato reports, he's just rejected a loan offer from Porto as he would favour a move back to France or moving over to England. Next comes from Marca and they're reporting that Real Madrid had a pre-contract in place with new Manchester United signing Donny van der Beek and he was only withdrawn on the onset of Covid-19. Well-connected US-based journalist Luis Cesar Melo has just confirmed that Gonzalo Higuain is on the verge of moving over to the MLS and is close to joining David Beckham's Inter Miami on a two-year deal. Sandra Tonali has decided to join AC Milan as has been confirmed by President Massimo Cellino who claims that he rejected both Barcelona and Manchester United in his bid to sign for his boyhood club. Lastly, and it's Gareth Bale. He spoke to Sky Sports News about him being open to moving back to the Premier League. He said he was open to moving and was hopeful Real Madrid would give him the opportunity to restart a new challenge elsewhere. Right, with the miscellaneous news all covered, let's get into today's top five. At five, and it's that big Barcelona departure. And this time, it's not Messi, but rather his close friend Luis Suarez. Suarez has agreed a deal as per Gazeta de la Sport with Juventus. Juventus is set to pay Barcelona 4.4 million euros for the signature of Luis Suarez. And the only thing holding up this deal is a technicality, whether Suarez will be considered a non-EU citizen or not. Suarez's wife, Sofia Balbi, is an Italian national. This is good enough for Suarez to enjoy EU status playing in La Liga. However, moving over to Serie A, it's a bit stricter and Suarez will need to take a test in order to enjoy the exact same status. And it's good news as Suarez might be able to recreate this photo taken with then ball boy and new teammate Matthias De Ligt. Moving over to Liverpool and Fahad Rashiri continues to attack the transfer market for Carlo Ancelotti as they're set to complete three signings in the next few days. Amos Rodriguez has already been in the UK for a few days now, finalising his transfer from Real Madrid. Here's a photo of him dining out at Williams and David Luiz joint restaurant. At the same time, they've completed a deal for Allen, who is set to sign on. And last but not the least, they've managed to strike a deal for Abdullah Dekore, joining from Watford for £20 million. Over to the red side, head of Sports Build, Christian Fulk, gave a great interview in which he clarified everything going on with the Thiago situation. Summarised, Liverpool are set to bid for Thiago in the next day or so. And he'll certainly need to do this as Thiago is certainly supposed to return back to pre-season training with Bayern Munich next week. He's allegedly been promised by club band Liverpool that they will be buying him this summer. And he's already said his goodbyes, so it will certainly be humiliating if he shows up on the first day of training. Flip side, Norwegian journalist Frederick Ann Philvat has said that Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has spoken to Thiago Alcantara over the last few hours in a hope to dissuade him from joining Liverpool. However, Liverpool still remain clear favourites for Thiago. It's three, and it's Chelsea. And Sky Sports have confirmed that Chelsea have finalised an agreement with Leverkusen with regards to the Kai Havertz deal. Finalising this deal, Chelsea have immediately turned attention Declan Rice away from West Ham. They're looking to fund this deal primarily with the sale of Jorginho, but are open to selling N'Golo Kante for an extraordinary bid, 19 million and above. Chelsea fans, let me know your thoughts. If you think it's worthwhile selling N'Golo Kante to land Declan Rice. Two, and it's Arsenal, and they're certainly continuing their very impressive transfer window. Fabrizio Romano have confirmed that Real Madrid midfielder Dani Sabayas 
will return to Arsenal for another season-long loan deal with no option to buy. Arsenal still remain very interested in Thomas Partey from Atletico Madrid. Initial talks with Atletico Madrid to reduce their valuation so far has seemed fruitless. However, Arsenal seem pretty determined to land their man. On the flip side, Arsenal have opened negotiations with Paris Saint-Germain regarding the sale of Hector Bellerin. With both sides still seeming quite far apart in valuation, but talks still continue. At one is the go. Who else? Lionel Messi. And after Jorge Messi's meeting with Bartomeu on the Barcelona board yesterday, well, Lionel Messi's options have become a lot clearer. Messi will definitely need to pursue a court case and then look to try to lower the asking price from Barcelona or wait an extra year before he leaves. It is a fast-moving saga and one that certainly is set to have a few more twists and turns. We'll certainly keep you up to date with everything that happens on the Messi front. That's our time. Let me know your thoughts on all these stories in the comments. Apart from that, do consider subscribing if you enjoyed. Like, share and comment. And as always, until next time.